Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines here on the Patterson River in Victoria and I'm here with Sean Savage from Streaker Boats and Sean this is a little pocket rocket you have here. What's the model of the boat that we're going to test today? Today we're testing the Streaker 4850 Tournament which is the smallest boat in our range. It's our only side console that we make and it's just uh, it's, it's more off our um, most, most diverse boat that we make. It's, it can do a bit of everything in it obviously. Um, this is designed, you say, you say when we were talking before that anyone from North Queensland or Victoria likes this boat, it's obviously built as a, as a general purpose fishing boat. That's right, it, 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 it's designed to have maximum fishing room, it's deep inside the whole boat, so the internal freeboard from the front casting platform to the flat floor at the back, recessed rod locker on the side, you're inside the boat, it's super comfortable underway, you can take a, it's more than comfortable in the Port Phillip Bay slop or out in the ocean with the big troughs and uh, you, you, you really do feel comfortable and safe inside the boat for those bigger trips if you're hope, happy to be out in the elements a little bit. Um, I notice you don't need a lot of horsepower to get this uh, boat going. This has got the Yamaha F70 on the back. What's the economy like? Economy's awesome. Um, in a perfect world, when you're around that 4,000 RPM mark, we like our speed to be the same or greater than that RPM. So at 4,000 RPM, this is doing about 42 to 44 kilometres an hour. And we're getting just over 2.2, 2.3 kilometres in distance for every litre that we use. Yeah, and that's great economy. I noticed that it is it is a very open boat, so if you're a lure caster, you like it. If you like crabbing, you like it. And, of course, if you like anchoring up and catching a snapper, it's going to fit. So, um, a lot of our viewers may not know the Streaker brand. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the construction and the attention to detail you put into these boats? Sure. So this is our smallest boat that we make, but it's still got our big boat features in it and our big boat quality, obviously. It's our main focus, our quality. We're not really after building a lot of boats per year we we really focus on what we do and our models and we're very very particular the way that we make them we make it more of a, uh, a boutique manufacturer rather than a, uh, a, a bigger produce production so we we really focus on our quality which you can feel if you rub your hand under any side of the spots that were sort of meant to be hidden you're not meant to touch it's all smooth as silk we've got uh, a separate anchor well it's designed and, and totally designed for a uh, stress-free anchor winch that goes straight in for our Port Phillip Bay fishermen got our uh, big live bait tank at the front which is fiberglass lined and the, the correct size for if you're going to do some tournament fishing. Plenty of underfloor storage, our fuel tank's further forward which helps with the balance of the boat. Our rod lock is completely recessed, clean, perfectly ac accessible and open the door the whole way. Um, our, our Everything inside the boat is streaker genuine, so we've designed this side console to suit our boat and the heights and everything. That's our streaker bait board and we are very proud of our product. Yeah, look, that's got a great reputation in the marketplace. This is a, yeah, obviously the smallest boat you make. Uh, obviously, you can uh, you can tow it with a smaller vehicle. What would you need to tow the tournament around? Uh, this would be around the ton, maybe a, slight, a little bit under that 900 sort of mark. So you, you're in the brake category. You're over 749, but you certainly don't need a uh, excessive vehicle. A V6 or even a four-cylinder sedan will uh, certainly tow this around with that easy tow trailers as well with Australian bearings, and they, they roll so well anyway so it does, it's a light 900 kilo to tow. That's right I noticed it was on a uh, it was on a single axle trailer so people that have to store it in a garage um, no issues with this boat because it's very easy to pivot around. Yep. So Sean this is obviously a, a very good first step up into the world of fiberglass um, the single axle makes it easy to uh, easy to to uh, get into the garage um, you don't need to upgrade your tow vehicle to do it um, what sort of ballpark's the price? So as this package is that we're sitting in right now, all our packages are tow away packages. So you've got the vinyl wrap included, you've got the low rants Elite 5 chirp included and everything else you see inside the boat with the easy tow trailer ready to go is $39,490. That's right, so it's not going to break the bank as well. Obviously the guys that want to option this boat up to suit their specific uh, circumstances can do it. Can uh, can you put a bow mount electric motor on for instance? The actual bow sprit, if you see at the front there, it's designed to run the anchor and the electric motor at the front there. So we can give you the option of Minn Kota or motor guide. If we run the motor guides, we can link them up to our low ranch units and we're uh, really quite limitless with what we can achieve in these boats. Um, what would be the most popular two or three options that people would order this boat with? Um, down this neck of the woods, we do like our electric motors, so we do do those quite a lot. Also our, our uh, stress-free anchor winches for our Port Phillip Bay fishermen, or even if you just want to anchor along where you are squidding or whatever you're doing, that's a very popular item for us. Um, and these days with technology and our sounders and GPSs these days, the screens are getting bigger and crazier and we, we seem to have a big market for that as well. That's right, everyone with a little boat wants a uh, HDS-12 on it now, don't they? Exactly right. <laughs> um, look, I think it's a, you're on a great company, it's Australian built, 
Um, of course, got a Japanese engine on the back, but uh, if you like your Australian-made product, make sure you check out the Streaker boats, especially if you're into this uh, small fiberglass boat fishing market. Am I looking at the camera? You're just talking to me. I, uh, I know. I hands. know the lens. You're attracted to the lens. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. We're having a combo. <laughs>